Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two. And I realized while I was loading up that other video, he really wants to know how to convert it to a DXF. So I'm going to cover that too on this one. But if you can see, our rectangle is messed up. It's not perfect. Well, it's all ungrouped. Let me get rid of the yellow box. Maybe it is not on all ungrouped. No, so it's not ungrouped. So go group. Tell you, tell you what, if, if you can't ever ungroup it, go to object and break the curve apart. Now it's apart. So our rectangle. And let's just, I'm going to keep the rectangle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to nudge the rectangle out of the way. Um, this thing is only less than four, so I want to make my nudge factor five. And I'm going to take the rectangle and nudge it out of the way. Now, and I can see some, there is a problem right there. Um, but it's easily, and I might have accidentally moved that. We can move that over. So you just need to kind of look through your file and make sure there's no crossing lines. And even if that's too close, you know, you can always grab the, the shape tool and move things around. Now, what I am going to do now is I'm going to control G and I'm going to group that together. I'm going to hold down the rectangle tool or hold down the shift key and double click on the rectangle tool. And it made a perfect rectangle around your drawing, as you can see. Now, we can take that rectangle, and I'm almost glad it's black, and let's make it 105% in both directions. See what happens. Well, it's actually a little thicker on the bottom because we're doing it by percentage. So let's... Um, Let's don't do it by percentage. Well, let's do it by, let's go, uh, let's take away the inch mark, hit the space key, and then hit the plus key, and it's 164, so we're going to, we're going to add one inch. And this should work because our ratio is locked. Okay. I did it. I need to go plus 0.1. Let me back up here. Okay, it's only doing it one dimension. So let's do it one more time. Get rid of the, get it right next to the number, plus 0.1. Plus 0.1. And there you have a rectangle around your work. It's not probably wide enough, uh, depending on what he's going to do, but you could always make it a little bit bigger just by hand. Unlock your ratio, and let's make it 1.75. There we go. That looks pretty even. Now, now that we've done that, let's nudge our new rectangle out of the way the same distance, and let's look at the difference how bad the other one was compared to my straight corners. So I've got a good straight corner and you can see that this is less here and then it bows out. So it really helps to watch your, especially when you're tracing something. So let's put that up there. Let's go ahead and make it, click on red and make it a hairline. And that should be good to go. Now you can make this object Control G and group it together. And you can make it now as large as you want it. I can't, you're not going to cut that out. So let's make it 20. Let's lock our ratio and let's say I'm going to make it 20 inches tall. So now let's just look at it with the Smart Fill tool, what the tree is going to look like. Now, with that said, depending if he's going to, if you're going to laser this, you're set. If you're going to plasma cut, which I don't really know because he asked for a DXF, but some, some lasers need DXF. So let's delete all this. And we've got this, and we want to save it as a DXF. Well, you can't just go save as. And a lot of times, well, you can. There's DXF. 
save it wherever you're going to save it and just save it as a DXF. A lot of times you actually have to export it and then you can export it as a lot of things and it just happened to work. So there's DXF and that's really all you have to do. You know, if, if once again, I'd really, I should have asked him before I started this, if he's going to plasma cut. It still looks good. It's going to work. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.